you have to do that? Sorry. No, wait. It's a beautiful night, the moon's full. Let's talk. Look, kid. I don't know what planet you're on, but this is cruising ground. Precisely. A man comes out into a dark, secluded area at 2am in the morning, hoping to cop off with a complete stranger, and he does this unafraid. Yet the prospect of some civilised conversation scares him off. I ain't afraid. I just ain't got any time for wastes. Do you know me? Perhaps I'm the repressed type who gets off in the illusion of civilization in order to justify to myself the most depraved sexual perversions. Uh-huh. Or maybe not. Either way, no one else around. What have you got to lose? My sanity. Tell me, have you ever been beaten up? No. Girl strike is the type. Yourself? Well, the guy started it, but I finished it. The moon's beautiful tonight, isn't it? Uh-huh. See that light over there? The whole time I've been sitting here, it hasn't left my field of vision. Yeah, so it's a plane. It looks like it's moving slowly, but it's actually travelling at the speed of sound. I thought only Concours could do that. Yeah, so it's a Concours. Uh, they decommissioned. Anyway, it's travelling really fast. So you getting off on this? Jesus, why's everything got to be about getting off? Why? Because this is a fucking cruising park, and this is a fucking cruising bench. And people don't come here for the view. Sir, do you come here often? Yeah, I do. You like it here? Well, I wouldn't keep coming back if I didn't. Stupid question, really. I apologise. So what are you doing here? I'm running away. Or to be more specific, I'm running away from a party. That bad, huh? Hmm. I was interacting with people on a purely superficial level. I was struck by a crushing wave of melancholy and futility. So you came here searching for some deep, meaningful human bonding? Let me guess, you're an author, researching for a book. Nah, I came here to get the fuck away from people. I wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> straight. I get like that sometimes. Oh. So how about a quick meaningless shag? You know, get your mind off of things. Uh, thanks, but I'm quite lucid right now. Anyway, I find it hard to get off of meaninglessness. Jesus, you're weird. Hey, Jesus is the king of weirdos. Lordy, I got me a Christian. <laughs> Better break out the Dawkins. Or a six pack of Darwin. Hey, evolution's okay. Requires a guiding force. Intelligent design and all of that stuff, eh? You know what the Bible says about guys like us? We're going to hell. Yeah, read the Bible, Chuck. Not all the way through, but... You probably should read up before you make statements like that. Basically, there are about four mentions in the whole thing. And human beings, notoriously valuable. Context and stuff like that. Anyway, there's more to, the, there's more to God than the Bible, you know. All right place to start, though. I could never believe in something I don't understand. You know... It's not about understanding everything, it's like, it's like a hope. A hope there's something more to all this than all this, you know, there's something behind it. Uh, you know... You're rambling, man. Ah, oh, fuck, this shit's too meaningful to rationalise. So, what's your story? My story? Wow. I apologise. Too big? I'm a middle child. My parents are lapsed Anglicans. Not that easy to be a lapsed Anglican. I guess I'm agnostic. Christ, what do you want to know? I work, my things. You out? Well, I'm outside, ain't I? I mean, some people know, but the way I see it, it's not really anyone's business. I've been out since sixth form. I used to, well, I t first of all, I told all my friends, then I went around wearing this little badge. I can't even think straight. After that, well, everyone knew, and the world didn't blow up in my face. Cool. Get any action out of it? <laughs> well... <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah, my boyfriend didn't like me wearing it. So I was an exhibitionist. I was dating this guy once. But he was into kissing in public and holding hands and all that shit. Anyway, he wanted me to meet the parental. But he was... weird and shit. Overcompensating for being gay. Like, I'm here, I'm queer, get used to it. He broke up with me though, in a fucking text. Said I was afraid of intimacy. Fucking nerve. Like I'm hung up on gay, being gay or something. The way I see it, if you
you know who you are, you don't need to go around making fucking noise all the time. Well, yeah, but you shouldn't be scared to either. I'm not. What's your favourite movie? Straight out of dating 101, I'd say Fargo. Hey, Coen Brothers fan. What do you think of Lady Killers? Uh, it wasn't up to standard. Ah, no, Tom Hanks was fantastic in that. Yeah, but it's got nothing on Raising Arizona. Yes. No, when it comes to Nick Rowe movies... It's not a road movie. Side of road movies, whatever. You know, it's got to be Wild at Heart. Well, not David fucking Lynch. I can't stand that pretentious fucking wanker. You know, my favourite one. Oh, brother. Yeah, figures. So why are you listening to music all the time? It makes life more cinematic. It either fits the mood of what's going on, or provides an ironic counterpoint. So what are you listening to now? Shuffle. I see. Life's random. Nah, see, that's a misconception. Shuffle's not random. Shuffle's intelligent. It either picks the perfect wrong song, or it picks the perfect right song. Of course. Could just be my interpretation. Mama, I just killed a man. Put a gun against his head. Pull the trigger, now he's dead. Mama, I see a little silhouette of a man. man. Scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Figaro, Magnifico. The Elzebub has a devil put aside for me, for me, for me. So you think you can let me and spit in my eye? Ouch, not so rough. Quit being such a baby. Ouch, that hurts. Nearly done. Nearly. Nearly. Finished. Finally. Took your time. It's getting early. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, nice to remember. We should do this again sometime. Yeah, sure. Shit, man, I start work in two hours. I need to get some sleep. Well, hey, same time next week. I'm Tom, by the way. Jacob. See ya. Cool. See you around, man. Yeah, see ya. Attention. Attention.